Well, hello, hello, and welcome. Today, we're gonna be doing an Android test, and I've got two things to test today. One is gonna be an Android Studio benchmark, which you may have seen on this channel already, and the other one is gonna be a project that my team and I are actually building, like a real project that's already in the app stores. It's an Android app. So I really wanna see how this will do against the Windows machine here that I have. It's an Intel Core i9, 12th generation. It's the 12,900 KF, a really powerful chip inside. Latest and greatest from Intel versus the Mac Studio with the M1 Ultra chip in there. Now, I recently did a video where I tested this one with the Android Studio Benchmark against the MacBook Pro with the M1 Max and a MacBook Pro with the Intel chip. Um, if you missed that video, check that out. I'll link to it down below. Now, let's continue with this test. This is the Android Studio Benchmark right here and it's created by Jozik who is a friend, Sergei Radkivsky, and he created this repository that links to results that people have been submitting. So if you're curious to jump to the results, you can see the different machines that people have been running this test on, what kind of processors they have, how much RAM, and how long that process takes. Really useful resource. I've set up Android Studio with this project. I've cloned the repository. And just to show you what we're working with, here is Android Studio Bumblebee version 2021.1.1 on both of these machines. Of course, the one running on the Mac Studio is the Apple Silicon version. And I have Android Studio Benchmark. I'm going to pop open that project. And just to let you know, I did actually take Android Studio's recommendations and did all the upgrades of Gradle. So we're working with all the latest stuff. Let's uh, kick things off, shall we? Now on the Mac, I'm going to issue the command Gradle W clean and then assemble debug. On the Windows machine, same thing. And here's our little friend. The Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. <laughs> Little tool I built to help run these tests. Let's do a race. Got to hit the enter key at the same time and let's go. <laughs> They're off to the races. By the way, I have not done this yet on the Intel machine. So I don't know what the result will be. This is going to be interesting. And by the way, this is a multi-core build. So it's going to include, involve several cores, whatever cores it needs to do the build. I do have other single core tests on this channel as well. So if you're not subscribed yet, consider doing that. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. Thank you. Well, 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 we have a winner. And actually, I'm a little surprised here. I thought the Intel machine was going to come out on top. But actually, the Mac Studio beat out the Intel machine coming in at 1 minute and 12 seconds for the build. And the Intel machine took 1 minute and 24 seconds to do the same build. I'm going to run this just one more time to make sure that we're getting consistent results. Let's go. While this is building, by the way, we're reaching the wattage about uh, 150 to 240 range from the Intel machine, the power draw, and about 35 to 37 down to 27 on the Mac Studio. Okay, wow. That was much faster the second time around. The machine is nice and warm. I'm gonna do it one more time because, well, we got much faster results this time. But the Mac Studio still comes out on top. 51 seconds on the Mac Studio, 55 seconds on the Intel machine. Let's do it one more time. Okay, we're getting pretty consistent here. And it's pretty close now, actually. We still got 51 seconds here on the Mac Studio. But this one is getting faster. 53 seconds that time. Now, if we take a look at some of the times that some other folks got, you can see, wow, I'm sorry, folks. 7 minutes and 28 seconds. That's a long time. Of course, people are taking some notes here, giving some details on what's going on. And I don't see any times that are faster. Yeah, that's the fastest I've seen so far. The next fastest is Apple Pro 2021 with the M1 Pro chip. Kind of makes sense. Okay, moving on to a different test. This is actually an application that uh, my team and I have developed for a client. It's a real application and it's an app built in native script, which allows you to write JavaScript code and you can build for a native iOS application and a native Android application. So we're doing the Android side of this right now. I did do the iOS build separately. You can check out my Xcode video if you're curious about that. And for that, we're going to build outside of Android Studio using the native script CLI, even though it's going to use the Android tooling from a command line to do the build. Okay, here we are in the project directory. Now I'm gonna do a clean command and NS clean is native script CLI clean command. This will clear everything out so we can build from scratch. It'll delete the object tree that it built for the application. All right, that's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna do the same thing here. The output is nearly identical. And the command to do the build is gonna be NS build Android. 
Now the Android build will actually give you a time printout at the end, but this app is actually a little bit more complex than just the Android build. So there's gonna be the Android build at the end, which is gonna be the multi-core build. We're gonna get a separate time for that. And then there's the step where all the JavaScript, all the TypeScript code, I should say, is compiled and Webpack is going to bundle the code. So there's an extra step where that's happening. And that's a single core test because node process. This is a more realistic approach than just using a benchmark because typically our systems that we build are more complex than a benchmark would represent. Now, in order to get that time, I want the overall time of the entire build process until the app is built. And in PowerShell, we get a measure command commandlet. Actually, I'm not in PowerShell here. I'm on the command line, but in PowerShell, the native script CLI doesn't work because I need to uh, enable script execution. Excuse me a moment while I take care of this. I always forget the command to do that in PowerShell. Oh my gosh, Microsoft documentation always so detailed. All I want to do is just oh, unrestricted. Okay, let's try that. Yes to all. Permission denied. Do I need to do this from an administrator command line? This comes with the territory, I guess. Okay, I've done it. Now let's try the native script CLI. There we go. Now normally I'd edit something like this out of the video, but I feel like this is uh, an important bit of information for folks to know. <laughs> now we can do where was I? Measure command is gonna give us the time and I'm gonna give the uh, CLI command, ns build Android, and I think we're ready. Now on the Mac side, it's just ns build Android and um, I need to give it the time command in the beginning. Let's go. Really curious to see who's gonna win this one. Okay, it's done with the node build, now it's doing the Java build. We have a winner, but not by much folks, not by much. Um, by two seconds, actually. The Mac finished at one minute and 28 seconds. This is for the overall build. And the Windows machine finished in one minute and 30 seconds. So two second difference. However, let's take a look at the actual Android build time. It looks like the Mac, that was 20 seconds, but uh, it didn't print it out on the Windows side because, well, measure command swallows all that up. So I'm gonna run this without the measure command bit of a pain, but I want to see just the output for the Android build there on the Windows side. You know what, might as well run this on the Mac as well, one more time. Well, it's reporting as 14.9 on the Windows side and 15.0 on the Mac for this build, so it's pretty close, but I also didn't clean it. Let me do the clean and one more build. Oh, this time we have a winner. The Mac Studio finished first with a Android build time of 18 seconds. Oh, well, the Windows machine is not that far behind with 19.8. So what can I say about this? Well, it's not that much different when it comes to a real world project like this one. Everybody's project is going to be slightly different. So you are gonna have to kind of combine different bits of information about these machines if you're trying to make a decision, whether you're going one way or another. And none of these videos are gonna give you like a foolproof solution to which machine you should buy, because unless you're building the exact same project I am, you might not get the same results. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of what an Android build is like on a benchmark, on a purely Android project in Android Studio versus a more complex project that has different working parts to it. So if you're working with a cross-platform application like uh, maybe Flutter or maybe more like React Native, Ionic, or NativeScript, then you might see different results. Okay, that's it for today. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.